guys, uh, hopefully you can see me. Um, so welcome to another video, it's kind of an unexpected one. Um, so today we're going to try and troubleshoot um, this issue that I'm having that when it rains heavy, um, there's water built up uh, on my driver's side floor. Um, I'll show you guys now. If I bring you guys with me. So let me show you guys. So if I take this mat off, you can tell that the entire mat is wet. Um, and the floor, you can kind of tell that the top half of where the pedal is is dry and all the bottom here is wet. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure that out. <laughs> um, if I have any pictures or previous uh, videos, I'll check on the screen now. But yeah, when it rains heavy and I'll push down here, there'll be like a puddle of water. Um, so yeah, I've already tried to fix the issue because there's a rubber grommet in the middle of the floor pan here and up here um, if you take this carpet off. Um, but I've already sealed those off with uh, flex tape and it's still leaking through. So the only thing that I have left that could leak in here is either the AC drain plug or if I take the front cowl off over there so I've already ruled out it's not the door seals here because I've already used the hose and I've hosed it off and no water gets in so you know that's all I have to go off of yeah I'm gonna try wing it because I don't think there's any videos um, or images or any instructions that I could find to actually to take off the cow so two birds without one stone you know I'm gonna show you guys how to take the front window cowl off if your car has this and if your car's leaking so yeah so first off uh, grab yourself a flathead screwdriver like I have here you can get a bigger one or a smaller one um, you want to pop off your wiper blades first and uh, you have these caps and just like so you can take it off like that and then you have a bolt here and a bolt on that side so yeah just like that real easy here you go just pop it off and then you just get a whatever size this is and uh, unbolt it off so yeah so the two bolt sizes here is uh, 14 mil so you have two 14 mil nuts here and here for your wiper blade. So yeah. And then you just have to lift it and pop it off. So we got it off, which was pretty simple. Um, what you don't want to do is what I did and start twisting it because you start cross-threading the teeth, which I think it should still be all right. But So what you would do is, because I got the primary one off, like the driver's side, so what you would do is, all you do is lift your arm up like this and then it comes off. It's as simple as that. Uh, so yeah, just put these on the side. And then just press the clips on the side here. Zoom in for you guys right there. So one on that side and one on the other side. So we're gonna have to take those off. Here we go, work your way back and forth. So yeah, there's another one. Right, it is going to be hard to show you guys, but underneath there's these plastic clips. And if I can show you guys, um, yeah, right here, there's those plastic clips that I need to take off before I can actually remove it. So yeah.
stuff like that that he's on. So yeah. Right. Just wanted to give you guys a closer look. So uh, we're gonna. Still don't know. There's nothing to be blocked off because I assume water would go through here, but I don't see any of that. So that's why I'm so confused because there's a drain here, but yeah, I'm not too sure to be honest. Well, I know for a fact that I'm gonna clean all that dirt and gunk off. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do that. You see all these white blades and all that. So yeah. Right, so I'm just going to clean it with a simple plastic wire brush and uh, some water, so yeah. As far as I can tell, water's still leaking from the side, which is good. As you can tell over on the bottom there, water is leaking, so that's why I'm so confused because I don't know where the water gets in to, you know, leak inside here, you know, inside the door. So, so yeah, that's why I'm so confused about. But at least I cleaned it, so it looks a lot better now. Right, guys, I still don't know what the issue is. Cleaned it off as much as I could. So it is a lot better, but yeah, as you can see, uh, I did douse a lot of water um, in this corner where the driver's side is and there's still not, you know, water that's going in, so that's why I'm so confused. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm still troubleshooting, but I don't know what it could be, to be honest. Right guys, well, couldn't find the issue, so we're just gonna put everything back on. So just a reversal, probably gonna just time lapse it all, so uh, yeah. You guys enjoy it. Finally figured out the issue, um, so excuse the mess here, but um, I'm going to show you guys what the issue is and how we're like, my English, but oh my god I'm excited, I finally found 
where water's coming in from my floor because you can tell this is underneath it's all damp this uh sand ending i finally found the issue uh, i'll show you guys um in in this little corner here uh, i got a little bucket of water and just you know threw it up on top here you can tell that that's still a little bit wet so yeah i'm going to show you guys i'm try to show you guys the best that i can right so have a little uh, container of water I'm gonna chuck it up on top here and I'm gonna show you guys. So, let's do this. So, here we go. Just chuck some water up here, do, do something like this. And hopefully, you guys can see. See that? A little bit of water coming through. So, what that means is that somewhere up here the actual main culprit is this little pinhole um, so what it is uh, i tried to show you guys because it's pretty far up into the cabin is if we lift this liner off uh, bring the torch with me right there move all the sound in the way i don't know if you guys can see So what I'm going to use to fill up, uh, you know, that little pinhole is just uh, some silicone. Um, so yeah, hopefully this will stop uh, all of the water leaking in and uh, yeah, I'm just going to cover that little pinhole. Um, pretty hard to show you guys, so I'll just put up a picture of, uh, of me doing it after, so uh, yeah. As you can see um, from that picture, I've uh, already sealed up with sealant, so now I'm gonna just have to let it dry for 24 hours. So I'm gonna put this back. Um, I'll probably just dry it at a car wash with, with a, um, like a vacuum because it's more high powered. So yeah, hopefully that's gonna finally solve the issue after literally a month. Right, so now we're just gonna put everything back, uh, all the screws and stuff, and uh, yeah, the carpet, and obviously the panel here. So uh, yeah. So, so just put back the uh, footrest. It's just a 12 mil bolt at the bottom, and it's like a flathead screwdriver, like a um, nut up here. Um, so yeah, just that. Uh, put the covers back on, put the mat, and then uh, we chuck on the panel. Right. So the trim all put back. So yeah, now we're officially done. So easy as that. Finally fixed it. If you guys are wanting to remove your window cowl on any car, um, I have showed you, so I'll probably title the video as that. And yeah, so now you guys know how to take this off. Um, it's not too hard. Um, it's just, you know, doing it yourself and seeing if uh, you can um, play around with it. So uh, yeah, as always, hope you enjoy the video. Um, hopefully, again, if you enjoyed the video, I'll uh, see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Like and subscribe and uh, yeah, catch you guys in the next one.